Hello everyone. Let's implement multivariate linear regression model from scratch in Python. And I am using Jupyter Notebook for its highly interactive nature. So let's implement it all the six steps which we already have seen in the previous video. So here, first of all, we are going to import some dependencies like import numpy as np. So numpy is basically used for matrix operations like addition, subtraction. Then we are going to use this import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Matplotlib.pyplot is used for plotting purpose. We will plot cost, training cost as a function of iterations later on. So these are the two dependencies which we will be using. Now, next is our step number one and here step one is the initialization of parameters we remember in the previous video and uh, here i'm going to define function initialize initialize parameters and here i'm going to pass the argument length of the weight vector l e n w basically for weight vector w1 w2 wn here l and w will be equal to n then we will initialize w as np dot random dot rand n basically rand n n here this n stands for standard normal distribution with sigma 1 and mean 0 that bell set curve if we remember and here we will be passing the arguments one comma length of the weight vector so this w vector is basically a row vector having single row and l e n w number of columns and here numbers are randomly generated through standard normal distribution and also do remember that either we can use this approach or we can use this way also w is equal to np dot zeros and one l e n w basically np dot zeros is to initialize all the values of the weight vector to be zero we are free to do this way as well so i am using this approach next is the initialization of bias so b is equal to zero and then we will return w b so this is our step one next step is if we remember step two is forward propagation so define forward prop here i am passing the arguments x w b because z is equal to w x plus b so here this z vector is equal to w x matrix multiplication of w and x which in numpy is used as np dot w comma x if we consider the dimension of w w has dimension one times n right and x has dimension n times m n number of features times m training examples and if we multiply w x one times n and n times m will give us z will be having dimension of one cross m here and so this is our z is equal to w x plus the bias vector now b is a scalar one here but if we add this scalar to wx np dot wx the scalar b is broadcasted to b vector so basically this b vector will be broadcasted thanks to numpy so b vector we can say this vector is broadcasted as b b b up to m right so and then this vector b vector is added to wx so that's it that's step number two and here i'm going to return z and next step is step number three that is uh, our cost function calculation right so i am saying cost function 
and here cost function you remember uh, cost function j is equal to 1 by 2m summation i is equal to 1 to m yi zi minus yi whole squared so we need z and we need ground truth level y and y has dimension 1 cross m so here i'm going to say this z is equal to 1 divided by 2m right so here twice of m In summation we say np dot sum of what np dot sum of z minus y whole squared so basically we'll be using np dot square of z minus y and by the way we need to define m here m is equal to y dot shape so for number of columns we use we use one here so this is it and uh, this is z and i'm going to return our cost function z here next step is step number four and here we will be defining back prop so define back prop and in the back prop we will be passing x and then y vector and then z is also needed because we need to find del z over del z vector so here first of all we will be finding del z over del z which is represented by dz and dz is equal to 1 over m this vector dz vector and it has shape it has dimension 1 cross m so 1 over m we remember this vector is z minus y so this is z minus y and again we need to define m here so m i'm gonna copy and paste so this is dz and then we need to find del z over del w vector which is represented by dw and dw is equal to we remember dz dot means matrix multiplication of dz and x transpose so i am saying np dot dz comma transpose of x here so in numpy we have this for transpose x dot t this is tw and then we have db is uh, sum of all the elements of dz so np dot sum of all the elements of dz this way that's it and then we are going to return dw and db that's it that's step number four here and let's move on to step five and we know step number five is our gradient descent update so i'm saying gradient descent update and here i am going to pass w b dw d b and also one more hyperparameter which is tuned manually that is learning rate we remember from the last lecture so these parameters we need to pass into this function and uh, w is updated as w minus w is a vector right and this vector has dimension one cross n so w minus learning rate oops, learning rate times times dw and dw has also the same dimension this dimension will be one times n if you look at this because dz has dimension one cross m and x dot t has dimension m cross n so dw will have dimension one cross n so all the dimensions are in match so dw w is updated like this and similarly b is equal to b minus learning rate times db so these are the w and b updates then i'm going to return w b that's it step number five in the next video we will implement step number six that is the final step if you like this video do comment below and subscribe to my channel. Fine. Thank you.